now. So what you're saying is you've got a stalker. No, not a stalker. An admirer. Someone writes you an email saying they like your work. That's an admirer. Someone writes you 40 emails. It's 39. He's a stalker. What kind of a name is Pippi, anyway? Is he human? Vulnerable people reach out for help wherever they can get it. He split up with his wife. He appreciates the advice I gave him in the column. Trust me. He either wants to root you or kill you or both. Well, not necessarily in that order. Whatever you do, do not give this person your phone number. Oh, you idiot. He's just a lonely bloke who needs some TLC. Yeah, exactly. Total lack of consideration. Don't throw acronyms at me, David. I don't like acronyms. We've got a new GM. We? You mean PBL or ACP? ACP. It's J.A. J.A. From TCN. Oh, gee. J.A. A.K.A. The Cobra. D.K. just announced it at the E.G.M. D.K.? The CAO from B.A. Oh. He's a B.M.F. Carl. The KPIs he laid down at TCN were O.T.T. After the 06 Q2P and L. The CFO, the MD, the DMD and the FMA all got the big A. I see. What's his ETA? Hey? ETA. Oh, AM, TBA. Will you want a Q&A? A yes, OP. OK. Well, a handful of uh, patients is uh, worth a bushel of brains. What? Oh, honestly, Carl, sometimes I don't understand a word you say. I think it's bushel of brains, isn't it? Company golf tournaments on tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, and so? Three hours out of the office. Three hours with dickheads. I think it sounds like fun. I think it sounds like fun too. Although I have something more fun planned. What? Proctology exam. Got you on a technicality, Roscoe. Mm. So why do they call him the Cobra? Well, I believe it's got something to do with the way he, he looks you in the eyes just before he strikes. Or maybe it's because he's got a funny neck. What? Well, you know, Cobras have got that neck thing going on. <laughs> Listen, a new general manager is a very big deal for us, OK? I want everybody on their toes. What's he look like, this bloke? I, I don't know. Like this. <laughs> I'm the Cobra! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, de <laughs> it's just just a bit of office fun here. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, <laughs> Carl Carl Van Dyke. Um, look, I'd, I'd like to show you around. Actually, I'm looking for Dave Muir. Is he here? Pippi, you're uh, you're not JA. Only one JA in this building. How is it, wage slaves? Great little outfit you got here, Carl. I love the mag. Absolutely love it with a capital L. Well, wow. great. And we're going to make it even better, you and me together. You with me? Totally. Now, you probably heard some stories about me all bad, am I right? Oh, I don't Just be honest, Carl. I don't like bullshit and I don't like bullshitters. Oh. Well, there might have been a couple of small stories. <laughs> and Cassidy? Oh, I... God, just be honest. It's fine, Carl. Yeah, it was, Anne. I'm going to sack that bitch. Oh, she didn't say that much. Listen, it? I'm one of the world's easiest people to get along with. I don't play games, I mean what I say, I reward hard work, and my middle name is Loyalty, Carl. Me too. Terrific. <laughs> Sounds like we get along like a dog on fire. Yeah, house on fire. What? So you meant to say house on fire? If I was meant to say house, why would I say dog, Carl? Oh, yeah, of course. It's a dog on fire. It's funnier. It, it is. It's hilarious. Okie <laughs> 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 dokie. Tomorrow morning, 9.15, I want a meet and greet with all your troops in the boardroom. Q&A, you know the drill. 
Gotcha. 9, 9, 15. Sharp. And I don't want people wandering in half an hour late like those two uh, wasters over there. The, Dave and Nick? Yeah. No more lateness. It's untidy and I hate it. Me too. Yep. So, uh, do you need anything for the Q&A? Yep. Yeah, like a... Uh, I'd like a flowerless chocolate cake with the words Welcome JA written in pink icing across the top. Uh-huh. And no nuts, I hate nuts. I'm allergic to nuts, Carl. Are we on the same page? Same paragraph. Same paragraph. <laughs> That's good. That's funny, Carl. You're very funny. Oh, you too. There's a dog on fire. <laughs> dog on fire. <laughs> Minyana. Not soon enough for me. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This is an amazing honour. I can't believe <clears throat> I'm actually talking to Dave Muir. <laughs> the Dave Muir. <laughs> Do you want a coffee or something? I have to tell you, when you wrote back to me, it was an incredible rush. I bought the magazine and I could hardly open the pages. I was so excited. Then I saw your letter and when I read it, I thought, how can he know me so well? It's nothing, really. Oh, it was life-changing. Like, when you said you have to stop being so self-absorbed, I thought, yes, that's so right. I do have to stop being so self-absorbed. And when you said try to cook a meal, I thought, yes, that is the most brilliant practical advice. Did you cook one? Yes, I cooked toast with a slice of cheese on it. <laughs> is that all? Walk before you run, remember? Oh, you say that too, you did, on? No, you said that to Jealous of Wodonga, July issue 2004. Right. Call me Pippi. Just, just once, please. Um. What? What's wrong? Um, I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but don't you think it's like a bit of a strange name for a bloke, Pippi? It's a bit... I can change it. I don't want you to change it. I'm just saying, like, it's a, don't you think it's a little, little weird for a bloke, Pippi? <laughs> Sometimes other people know us better than we know ourselves. One among and again. Yeah. Frustrated of Nelson Bay, September issue 2003. Wow. All right, Pippi, I'm going to have to press on, mate. Um, I've got to get on top of all this. All got away from us a bit, as you can see. <laughs> So, uh, I'll love you and leave you. Love me. <laughs> <laughs> Figure of speech. Uh, let me see you out. I'll call you. Um, that number's been changed, actually. Uh, Can I get the new one? Uh, don't have a new one as yet. So you I'm... said it was changed. I... That's the word you used. You didn't say disconnected. I, yes, uh, you're absolutely you're sharp. You're very sharp. I meant disconnected. Uh, it's gone, that number, so um, you will be the first to know when I get a new one. I'll, you'll be my first call. How's that? Wow. Yeah. All right. Uh, got a rush. So um, keep eating the cheese on toast. Good man. So? Yeah, like I say, he's just a, a lonely bloke. Yeah, hello. Um, can I speak to someone about changing my phone number, please? Yeah, don't put me on hold. This has to happen now. Have you seen Lavinda's birthday card? Who's Lavinda? She's in accounting. I have to get everyone to sign it and put in for a present. Mm. One dollar, that's a bit stingy. Considering I don't know the person, I'd say it's extravagant. So you sure you don't want to play in the golf tournament? Only witless and emotionally retarded people play golf, Ross. I'll play golf. Her name's Lavinda and it's her birthday. Yeah. So why'd you write, we'll miss you, Michael, have a great trip? Because that's what I've written on every birthday card since I've worked here. Oh, you think you're funny? Yeah, I do. But more importantly, other people do, Ross. Well, I don't. No, I said people, not golfers.
I can't get you a flourless chocolate cake until tomorrow afternoon. Well, there, there has to be one somewhere. How, how many shops did you ring? 27? Chocolate mud cake? Not a problem. No, 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 no. It has to be a flourless, nutless chocolate cake. Well, why don't you just tell the cobra you couldn't get one? Well, I, I can't. See, it's, it's a test and I, I have to pass. A <laughs> what? I don't know. Do I look like a mind reader? Well, are you going to come outside and say happy birthday to Lavinda? Who? For she's a jolly good fella, for she's a jolly good fella, for she's a jolly good fella. And so say all of us. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Ah! Thank you, all of you, so much. You're like another family to me. <laughs> It's just so incredibly cruel. Her husband's name was Michael, and he died two weeks ago on a trip to Africa. Well, I didn't know. to say thank you for meeting me today. Uh, it was one of the greatest days of my life. Dave, it's Pippi. Um, this number seems to be working, even though you said it was changed. It's me again. I just left you a message. If I sounded sarcastic, I didn't mean to. Uh, I was just thinking we should get together. Dave, when you get home, can you call me? It's me, Dave. My phone number and address are on the back of the photo I sent you. I've written you a poem. Sometimes in life, we seek out friends who may just help us through. The highs and lows, the ups and downs, the times we're feeling blue. One day I took a chance because my life was in the sewer. Then rescue came with golden wings. His name was David Muir. I love you, Dave. to have a flourless chocolate cake for the cobra. Who? The, the, doesn't matter. Why didn't you just call me at the meeting? I'll make you one. Oh. 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 Oh, well, of course I got one. You know, Tina, you may, uh, you may find as you get a little bit older that sometimes uh, you've got to be that bit more resourceful, yeah? <sighs> you know I hate saying I told you so. Shut up, Nick. Go to the cops, Dave. Get an apprehended violence order against this guy. They don't work. Just make people like him more obsessed. You know that. My wife had to get one once. Jeez. This is a fire drill. Please evacuate the building. This is a fire drill. Please evacuate the building. This is a fire drill. Please evacuate the building. 
this is a fire drill. Please evacuate the building. Gentlemen, this is a fire drill. Please make your way to the fire stairs and exit the building in an orderly fashion. Let's not and say we did. Failure to comply with an instruction from your fire warden is a breach of your workplace agreement. I'm not doing it. You have one minute. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Nice and orderly, that's the way. I'm shove those golf clubs down his throat. I heard that! Hey. Oh, Jay. Oh, mm, good on you, hey, for that new gig. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah. Gee, it's good to see you again. You look absolutely fantastic, by the way. I know. <laughs> you too. <laughs> All these fire drills are such a pain, aren't they? Yeah, listen, this Carl Van Dyke character seems like a bit of a troublemaker to me. Oh, well, he's... Be honest. You didn't call me. What are you doing here? You said I'll call you. Those were your words. Didn't you mean it? No! Oh, can't you stay away from me? Leave me alone. You lied. Yes, I lied. I don't like you, OK? I don't want to be your friend. I don't like your poetry, OK? You stay away. But how can I go on without you? I don't know. I don't care. Where's the cake? I, um... I, someone took it. And the dog ate my homework. <laughs> no, no. Well, really, someone did. Anybody here see the cake Carl brought in this morning? Tina, you saw it. I, I, I saw the container. And, well, there was a cake in it. Carl, chapter one of the management handbook, accountability. You let me down. Just admit it. But, but I didn't. You want to play that way? Fine with me. Moving on. Someone here wrote an inappropriate message on a birthday card yesterday. Who was it? I didn't know. You didn't know what? You didn't know that Lavinda's husband died? Or that he was my cousin? Either. Funny joke. I didn't mean to offend. Moving on. I found one of this magazine's most loyal readers crying in the street this morning because he'd been abused by somebody in this room. Don't make me ask. What's she thinking about that? Was I don't want to hear it. People like that man pay your wages, pizza boy. And this kind of arrogant contempt for your readers has no place in my organisation. Do you understand me? Yep. I have a beautiful rose bush at home. All right. It's called the joyfulness rose. In bloom, it has the most magnificent variegated orange and red petals that you have ever seen. But every winter, I prune it to the ground. And you know what? It comes back stronger and more beautiful than ever. Who's taking the afternoon off work to play golf today? Ross, isn't it? I believe we're playing together. See you on the first tee at noon. Thank you, everyone. I, I did have a cake that's...
Sorry, it was J.A., was it? How's that for kissing cousins? <sighs> Peppy's not answering. And the problem is... <clears throat> what if he's done something to himself? What if he hasn't? Well, if he hasn't, maybe I can get him to write a letter to J.A. or something. Dave, face it, we're screwed. No, nah, I'm not sitting here doing nothing. Hey, hey, hey. Where are you going? I'm going to Pippi's place. No. Talk to him. Dave. <sighs> Shut up, Ross. Oh, hello, Dave. Right. I'm fine. You didn't answer my calls. No. Why not? I've moved on. What do you mean you've moved on? I've found someone else. But you said, how can I go on without you? They were your exact words, and you mean that? I found a way forward. Who is it? Who's who? This other person, this someone else. <sighs> you don't know him. Pippi. Don't call me that. Don't call you Pippi. My name's Diablo now. I don't understand. How, how can you be obsessed with me this morning and completely over me by this afternoon? Dwelling on the past never helps anyone. Lonely of Carlton, February 2005. Pippi! He's not going to fire you. That's ridiculous. Didn't you hear the story about the rose bush? Yeah. And? Sounds fantastic. He must have it in a really sunny spot. Ross, there's a, a thing called subtext. And the subtext of that story was that J.A. is going to fire everyone in this office, with, with the possible exception of you. Everyone? No. Carl, I don't believe J.A. would do that. He's a really good guy. Oh, right. And why do you think they call him the Cobra? Well, he actually does have a slightly funny neck. When you see it up close. Hey, Ross. Nick. Off somewhere? Headed up to J.A.'s office. I'm giving him a putting lesson. Do you reckon you could put in a good word for me? How do you mean? The whole birthday card thing. It's just a stupid joke. You know that. You know I never meant to hurt anyone. Well, I have reached out the hand of forgiveness to people in the past. Do you reckon you could do it for me, mate? I could. Unfortunately, as I think we've already established, I'm emotionally retarded. As in golfer. Workplace agreements of all employees, Clock Magazine, were terminated forthwith, with the exception of Ross Hampton. <laughs> Carol, yeah, it's me. Hi. 
Yeah, listen, you know that cake you made? Yeah. Yeah, did, did you put nuts in it? Did I only say flourless? I'm sure I said flourless and, and nutless. Really? No, 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 no. It's, it, was, it was absolutely perfect. Yeah. And I just wanted to let you know that, um, that I love you. Yes. And I'll, I'll see you soon. OK, bye. Carl? You OK? It's J-A. What's the G-O? D-O-A. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. What's that? You've taken out an apprehended violence order on me. Who has? Pippi! <laughs> Pippi! <laughs> Diablo! Whatever your bloody name is, it's Dave Muir. Answer the phone! <laughs>